a very important clash between two world class grandmasters at the penultimate round of the chennai grandmasters 2024 vidit gujarati with the white pieces takes on levon aronian vidit has not been in particularly great form here but levon is just half a point behind arjun so very key game for him e4 played by vidit and e5 responded back by levon recently at the olympiad they drew their game against each other let's see what happens this time with it brings his knight out to f3 levon plays knight c6 and will with it play the italian most likely he would go for it that is the line that he generally plays yes he puts his bishop on c4 and levon brings his knight out to f6 attacking the pawn on e4 and with it simply defends it calmly with d3 and now the bishop e7 move which has gained so much popularity in this tournament everyone's been putting their bishop on e7 instead of c5 castles and now we had we have had several moves here knight c3 has been one but with it tries to go with h3 just puts his pawn on that square and levon calmly plays his pawn to d6 d5 of course is possible but after takes takes rook e1 it's slightly difficult to defend this pawn and so d6 is a more uh, is a less committal way of playing a3 by vidit and now the bishop comes to e6 for vidit it's a choice between taking on e6 or just playing his knight to d2 he chooses the latter defends his bishop and now levon takes and you take back with the knight rook e8 played and i think what levon essentially wants to do is go bishop f8 g6 bishop g7 and then maybe at some point break with d5 if the if the opportunity arises so h6 played by him and now b3 played by vidit this move b3 that vidit has played is slightly unusual because generally you already have your bishop open on this diagonal but i think vidit realizes that bishop on uh, b2 would be much better and so he puts his bishop there with this now he can aim for d4 break at the right time and with it is thinking uh, at this point with bishop b2 is played levon goes g6 and he's going to put his bishop on g7 <laughs> and now queen to d2 connecting the rooks slowly building up the game the game is getting exciting i think levon goes bishop to g7 and he has reorganized his bishop to a much less active square but one with more possibilities with d5 break or later f5 break and now with it plays his rook a to d1 queen comes up to d7 and with it brings his knight back to e3 a slightly more space and maybe now the idea is to play c4 b4 you know gain some space in the center levon also maneuvers his knight he wants to go knight e6 to f4 and so he he gets his knight out from c6 and with it plays his pawn to c4 so gaining more space white is 
slowly making some progress and Levon now makes a huge mistake with c6 because now with it has a very powerful move c5 look at with its time on the clock he has 38 minutes left and whether he'll be able to find this or not is a big question c5 just shakes up the entire structure for black so c6 by Levon was very careless and with it finds it with 31 minutes left on the clock he does find c5 beautiful is now takes and knight c4 is extremely strong and the e5 pawn is hanging so Levon takes here on c5 and with it takes the pawn on e5 so a small uh, carelessness by Levon and now he has to defend a very difficult position and it will be interesting to see if with it manages to convert this he has had tough time converting good positions, uh, you know, against Arjun. Now he takes on f6 and I believe that after bishop f6, you can simply take, take and go knight g4 and win this pawn. Queen h4, check. And then rook d8. Well, black is some compensation but not enough. But here, instead of knight f6 with it takes the pawn directly and he's like I'm uh, okay with these two knights I don't know having this bishop here does it help or not and now Levon makes a slightly dubious move bishop g7 which allows the knight to jump in knight f5 excellent move by with it attacking the queen and the bishop Levon takes white takes and now there's a pin here queen comes up to d6 with it is just crushing this now he is clearly better let's see how this position shapes up but with its time is the only worrying factor he's now down to 10 minutes on the clock against levon's 55 Rook takes e6. Rook takes. Queen takes. And now he goes b4. A better idea was rook e1, queen takes b3. And queen f4 attacking f7, knight f6, rook e7, and this would be would be a winning position. But instead he played b4, c b. And now queen takes b4. So with it is a pawn up and uh, has a good position, but Levon now has Perhaps the best position in the last few moves. D4 played. And he brings his rook to D8. Putting pressure on the D4 pawn. With it brings his knight to E3. If his knight settles down on F5. Let's say check and F5 and then G4. It would, have, it would be pretty nice. So A5 played. If you were to take this pawn then the d4 pawn hangs so that's the reason why with it goes queen c5 and now bishop comes to h6 with three minutes on the clock with it gives a check to the king queen c2 and with queen g6 he now puts his knight on the f5 square and the idea is now to play g4. Bishop f8, Levon finds the move that is the most difficult for Vidit to meet attacking this pawn. He plays queen e4. You want to take here but then check and you lose the rook so that's the reason why 
Levon has to be careful. He plays the best move, Rook D5. Check. It looks like Black's king is very exposed. But white is not in time to take advantage of it. For example, rook d3, trying to give this check, is met with queen f5, check, and bishop g7, when the position is fine. So he has to go knight e7, check, and after the trade of the minor pieces, we reach a major piece endgame, where black's chances are not worse. The reason for that is that black has this very nice majority on the queen side rook g5 threatening the g2 pawn pawn to g3 and now b4 well with b4 now if you take a b and if you take queen b4 then rook g3 is a draw this is a perpetual so in a way although with it can still try and he has a very good chances with h4 rook g4 d5 pawn takes queen d8 king g7 and rook takes d5 this position is winning for him it's very difficult to figure all of this out in just 30 seconds and so he plays rook c1 which is a mistake here because now Levon can take this and hold it to a draw it's difficult to calculate it fully but he plays b3 which is also a strong move within now gets on the defensive with queen e2 The rook jumps over to b5, threatening b2, the queen controlling here, the queening square. So queen b2 blocks the pawn and now Levon has tremendous activity. I would say with it has to be slightly careful here not to get into a lost position. h4 is a good move because the h pawn will later on come in handy. Rook b4 played attacking the pawn on d4 so with it goes rook to d1 defending that pawn and queen to d5 it's so again pinning the pawn here threatening c5 and with it comes up queen c3 would c5 be possible now because then queen takes pawn takes and this is fine for white so maybe not directly he goes queen b5 once again threatening b2 queen goes back and rook c4 coming in to c2 with it should remain very careful nice move there by him pushing the pawn because this opens up the queen's path now so takes and let's see what with it comes up with he comes h5 well queen e5 was an interesting move with the idea of queen g5 queen d8 perpetual but h5 he goes a d4 a point of course was if you went rook c2 then here queen f6 followed by h6 was pretty strong so that's why d4 closing it down and with it goes rook e1, rook comes up to c3 next. And with it goes, has to go queen d2 now to save the game. He finds it. Queen d2, queen coming in, rook coming in. His final chance here is to attack. Because otherwise he'll just be lost. Queen d5 played by Levon. The way in which Levon has defended this position is amazing. Queen f4. And now king comes up to h7. So with it, 
next plays rook to e5 important move because if you play b2 i'll just take and if you make a queen i'll just move my king and i'm winning so that's the reason why queen f3 was played by levon which is the which is a good move defending his f7 pawn here take rook takes and now although black pawns look dangerous these two passers with it does something very simple he brings his king he says that his rook will defend the b pawn his king will come after the d pawn so rook c3 and now an important move rook b5 putting the rook behind the passed pawn f5 played here by levon and with it brings his king up king e2 check see where the king goes now he goes king d3 attacking the pawn on f2 now the pawn i mean giving up the pawn on f2 takes it and with it just being very sure that taking this pawn does not lead to a lost king and pawn end game because takes the pawn and now check on f3 king c4 yes white king is slightly away from the action but after takes king takes king at 6 king c4 king takes h5 king d4 step by step all the pawns have been traded and the game is heading towards a draw a brilliant defensive effort by levon one must agree after making a big error out of the opening and with it would be not so happy with himself for this draw and there you have it shaking his head levon has a smile on the face let's hear what the players are analyzing